Hello everybody, today we have a PragerU video we are covering. It's a little bit of a different PragerU video. It's not the typical scripted PragerU segment. Uh, this one was recorded live, which was kind of interesting. Uh, there's this guy doing it called Will Witt, looked into him. Uh, this video is Leftism Has Become a Religion. I don't think he knows what religion means, but uh, the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods, a particular system of faith and worship. And then this one's kind of like the metaphorical sense, which it could be what they're going for, which is a pursuit or interest in which someone ascribes to supreme importance. But I think this one's kind of dumb because you could say anything's a religion if you think it's important. So like, I don't know, if you think food's important, you could say it's a religion, but I think that's more of like a poetic thing. These people are literally saying it's a religion, and as we'll see, I don't think it'll fit these definitions well at all. Um, what this guy's got, he's got the religion of green, I don't know, let me, guys, let me know if you guys want to see me cover this. It's basically him saying climate change isn't real. Uh, we got, we got climate change being real here we got evidence for that lots of it i will link this <laughs> below if you don't believe me but uh he says that climate change isn't real and that it's a religion and that they're fear-mongering and also this guy's a christian by the way he is very religious and so i don't understand how <laughs> he's kind of like yeah uh religion bad bees religious <laughs> okay that's how it be he, he's got the Electoral College is essential. He got Texas versus California. Medicare for all will destroy health care. How many genders are there? This video, he delegitimizes trans people. He This one, he dresses as a Chinese dude and walks around and makes people uncomfortable. He's just, he's just a weird guy. It, if they're on PragerU... Here, here's a simple rule to follow. If they're on PragerU, they're probably full of shit, okay? Ben Shapiro's been on PragerU. Steven Crowder's been on PragerU. Candace Owens. Jordan Peterson. These are just Dave Rubin. You know, just people off the top of my head. You probably shouldn't take what they say seriously because they've been on PragerU. This is a right-wing propaganda outlet. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check this out. Also, the comments are kind of funny. Leftism is a religion, always has been. Love that. Conservatives have been asleep at the wheel. It's time to wake up and step up. Every age has its zealots. The woke are the zealots we are dealing with right now. No different than the Spanish Inquisition, radical Islam, or any other cult. Leftism ruins everything it touches. Leftism is a religion without God or morals. Love this. Great comments. But let's get into it. Seven minute video, nearly eight minutes. Yeah, let's go. But it's funny how the left thinks that they get to dictate how people are supposed to think and feel. And they tell people who are Mexican who feel free that they have internalized racism. I don't know. Okay, saying saying racism is a thing is apparently telling people how to feel. Great way to start. Also, uh, blexit. If you don't know what the term blexit means, I'm pretty sure that refers to the black exit of uh, black Democrats going to Republicans. So that's a weird One term. One of the stupidest things I've ever heard. We did another video in California, another California university, you know. He's going to say California, you know anything about California a lot universities. It doesn't video. go too well when I go there. But we made a video. It was the, for Thanksgiving. The, the one joke I dressed in this up video as Native is, American. Haha, California, that's a wonky place, isn't it? <laughs> California, laugh at me. I said California. That's this man. That's, that's all he does. Okay. And we were going and giving out pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving and then d asking people what they were thankful for. You know, it was a very heartfelt video. We had a, a black guy with me. He was a black pilgrim. <laughs> you guys get the joke? You guys we get went there, the, the joke? And we oh, started man, filming the video clicked. and everything. I, I, and then what is wrong with my didn't thing? go as planned. You, do you guys get the joke? Black pil They got a black guy and he was a black pilgrim. 
do, do you get it? The colonists, the pilgrims, they, um, they had slaves. And so this guy is like, yeah, I was nice enough to let this guy be a pilgrim and not a slave. Uh, it's just racism funny, conservative man. Obviously, and some people came up to us, some leftists, and they attacked us. They were, gave us death threats. They yelled at us, said horrible racist things, and eventually they chased us off campus, tore off my clothes, and that was the end of that. And so after hearing about, you know, all the horrible things that they said I was, racist and terrible and cultural appropriation, I decided to put their ideas to the test, right? If what, maybe what they said is actually true. So I drove 900 miles outside of Los Angeles to the uh, Navajo Indian Reservation outside Window Rock, Arizona to ask them what they thought. And not one of them was offended by the Washington Redskins name. Not one of them was offended by cultural appropriation. And not one of them wanted other people getting offended for them on their behalf. I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't seen this video. But, uh, yeah, if none of them were offended, that's great. But some people do get offended. And you just, you just shouldn't be trying to offend people. Like, if you know something is going to offend some people, you probably shouldn't do it unless you have a good reason to do it. If you're just doing it to do it like this guy is, that's kind of being a dick, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not involved in this situation. I'm not really gonna comment on it. It is cultural appreciation, not appropriation. And you know, these young people, people my age are going to in university In the video now. where he dressed as a Chinese dude, he's, he claimed the same thing that it was a uh, cultural appreciation but he was trying to portray himself as a stereotypical Chinese person and I think that was a bit insensitive he had like a fake like beard and I, I don't I don't think that he was doing it to genuinely appreciate Chinese culture I think he was just trying to get attention Oh, and they're coming out more stupid than when they went in. They're professors. I mean, it's just, I mean, I was there three years ago at the University of Colorado Boulder. It's a People's Republic of Boulder. But their professors are teaching them how horrible America is, how terrible white people are, and that getting I mean, tricked. I mean, America, America has so many problems. I mean, if acknowledging America has problems is like a really bad thing for you you're really sensitive you need a you need to acknowledge these things conservatives don't like to acknowledge that America has problems they like to think that America is this perfect great country but I don't know they're just not perceiving reality they're just blatantly ignoring it and that's a problem triggered is the norm and that canceling people and shaming people for a difference of opinion is how we should all live our lives if your opinion is shitty and it's it hurts other people it's about taking rights of other people away then yeah i would probably cancel and shame those people if it's if it's something just slightly different i mean that's how these people always frame these things they always frame it as oh i just have a different opinion I just have a different opinion. I don't think climate change is real. <laughs> that, that's how these people be. Like, my opinion just ignores scientific fact and is a very dangerous opinion if it were to be implemented into the world. That That's just, that's how my different opinion be. So what does all this mean? All these white leftists getting offended? It really white means leftists. that white leftists are the most racist people in America. I don't know why he's just bringing up the white leftists. They think that their virtue signaling antics are helping black people or helping minorities when in reality it undermines them. Black people don't want you to get offended for them. You're doing it for yourself and so that other people around you will think that you're woke. But let me tell you something, Spooky white leftists. There is nothing woke about saying you care about the feelings and plight of black people when you then turn around and advocate for the same programs and policies that have kept black people down. This guy made a racist joke when he opened up and he's talking about how leftists are the real racists. 
just remember he he opened with a racist joke I, I don't think we should take what he's saying <laughs> with much scrutiny is that the word for that I don't know we, we shouldn't believe what he's saying is what I'm trying to say <laughs> In America for decades. Decades, you say. Conservatives have been on the wrong side of history. You know, you think history. about something like affirmative action, right? All the time. Affirmative action sounds great on paper, but it's racist all the way through. Okay, affirmative action is something that we were trying to do. Uh, we're seeing that it's not super effective. And I, I don't know much about affirmative action, but I'm not really in favor of it. So basically says, oh, black and Hispanic people, you're not as smart as white people, so we need to give you a leg up. Is that not racist? No, no, that's not why affirmative action was implemented. It wasn't implemented because they're not as smart, because, because minorities aren't as smart as white people. It was implemented because they are systematically disadvantaged by the conditions in which their society, our society, has formed. After... For black people, for example, after being slaves for decades, right, when they, by the time they were free citizens, they lacked knowledge and understanding of how to, you know, work in a society. They, they, they didn't understand, and plus they were also second class citizens, they didn't have all of the resources and things they needed to thrive in a society. And so living economically disadvantaged like that for generations it, it causes problems that affect us to this day where you know people are not living in good neighborhoods and it's just it's just bad stuff it's just bad stuff based off of stuff that happened many many years ago it created problems that affect us today but you know why White people are doing better in a lot of ways than black and Hispanic people in this country because of the economic oppression that the left has put on them for the last 60 years. I don't know where he's getting this from. The, la the last 60 years the left has been economically oppressing minorities. I, I don't get it. The conservatives were the ones that wanted to keep Jim Crow laws. They have been fighting to keep slavery. All, all of these things, they, the right is where all of this came from. So I don't know where he's coming with this. For the past 60 years, the left has been doing stuff. The right has been on the wrong side of history for literally its entire existence. It has been against progress, against intellectualism. And I, I don't know. I don't know where... We just have different information or something. I don't know what's up with this. And I want to talk about the reasoning for this. I think it's incredibly important to get to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is that leftism and this type of culture has become a religion and a cult in America. Oh, we got it. Leftism is a religion and a cult in America. That is, that is what the video is called. I don't know how it's a religion. I don't know how it's a cult. I mean, you got the Republicans, and they're all kind of... Conservatives are all anti-masks and stuff, and they're getting themselves COVID and dying because of it. I mean, I, I'd say they're kind of like a death cult. I don't know what's going on with the leftists. They, they, From what I've seen, they're always following scientific trends and listening to experts on the field and it's, it's just I don't know moving on as America and the West have gone away from Judeo-Christian values they have needed something to Judeo-Christian values so <laughs> so somehow religion is bad except when it's my religion that's this man's logic when the evangelicals literally believe in the rapture the end times Somehow they are not considered a cult. I don't understand this. How he can say the left, which is mostly secular, non-religious, is somehow a religion. He even says this in the religion of green documentary thing. He says that, well it's not him, I think someone he's interviewing says this, that leftism is a secular religion. 
literally an oxymoron. This guy is just perpetuating this nonsense. It's weird that a lot of people do not understand this. I find it really weird. Place that and leftism has been the answer. Black Lives Matter has been that replacement for God. You have seen like the like God, like how I don't understand like what the logic is. Like you 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 follow a religion with a God. By definition, you are religious, but you're claiming that leftism is a religion like that's a bad thing as well like can't you if it is a religion why can't you be tolerant and acceptant of other religions isn't that what these people argue for like religious freedom and stuff but he's so he's so vehemently against it i what wavelength is his brain operating on we will never know Nietzsche, you guys know Nietzsche, philosopher from the 1800s, had the famous line that said, God is dead. People think this is a, a celebratory thing that God is dead, but he said it as a warning, a warning that people would still need some sort of meaning in their lives, and this is where leftism comes in. You, know, you think of the example of posting a black square on Instagram, right? This is something that is one of their tenets of their religion. But the funniest part about there's, this there's nowhere where that's is that written. I can guarantee you that less than 0.1% of the people who I don't actually think post that post posting black squares on Instagram really did anything. It was just kind of a trend. And uh, people just did it to, to try to, to do it. They wanted it to be cool. But I don't think that this is like a leftist tenet or anything that thou shall post black square on Instagram. I, I don't know, he's, he's really uh, hyping it up with his language here. ...posted a black square on their Instagram have ever done anything for black people. If you actually cared about black people, you'd be trying to get more police in their communities. You'd be advocating for fatherhood in these communities. You'd be More police? Policing black communities harder? I, I don't know, police have... Uh, I've not really had a good relationship with black people. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of police racism. There's a lot of research on that. Uh, racial profiling. Trying to get rid of the welfare state. You would try to get rid of affirmative action. But they don't do that. That's way too I'm difficult. To they just want to sit at home on their butt and post a black square on their Instagram so that all their friends will think they care about black people. In reality, they don't care at all. You know, when I was, I, I was an atheist my entire life, and now I'm a, a Christian person, which is a wonderful thing. Okay, now you're religious. <laughs> I was non-religious, now I am religious, but religion bad, unless it's my religion. That's the theme of this video. Thank you. Thank you. And when I was Thank you coming to God and becoming hypocrisy. more religious, the, the Christians around me, they weren't shaming me for being an atheist. They weren't telling me how terrible I was. They, gave, they were the most heartwarming and welcoming people that I've ever met. You know, I'm glad for you that the Christians surrounding you did not shame you for being an atheist. The thing is, they, they welcome you into it, right? If you're not in it, they welcome you into it. But if you try to get out, that's when they shit on you, okay? I was born and raised as a Catholic, and when I told my family that I didn't want to be a Catholic anymore and that I don't believe in God anymore, that's when uh, things didn't go so well. It was, it was very uncomfortable. It was a very bad time where I was just getting shit shoved down my throat about how God is real and God loves me and if I don't do it, I'm gonna go to hell. And like, I had all this baggage of like just verbal baggage over me. And it was pretty bad, pretty bad stuff. But that is kind of how cults operate. They welcome you in and they make it hard to get out. And if anything's a cult, I'd say it's Christianity, but not to this guy.
in my life, they love me, they wanted to, to bring me in. This is not how the religion of leftism works. It works on shame, it works on guilt. They have tried I mean, to cancel people. Christianity does the same thing. <laughs> they will shame and guilt you for doing anything that doesn't fall within the traditionalist patriarchal norms of the religion. It's it's always been conservative. It's always I mean these people believe that their entire lives are dictated and determined by a god and that they need to obey this god absolutely. It's it's unfortunate. People like me, they have tried to cancel people like Candace Owens. I'm sure they've tried to cancel people in this room as well. I mean, religion religion has the whole concept of sin, okay? Like, like bad actions, and if you do these things, you're sinful, you're bad, and then you're going to go to hell. Like, I don't know how you can exemplify guilt in an ideology more than what Christianity does. I, I don't understand how leftism trumps this. But are you going to let the left destroy you? No, we are not. I live in California. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, California. <laughs> it's on fire. The things you hear are true. It is on fire. There's homeless people everywhere. Poop, high taxes, traffic. I mean, it's a terrible place to live. And I, I live there. <laughs> but I love it. I still love it in a lot of ways. Regardless, what I'm trying to say is that leftist policies have ruined California. But that really? doesn't just happen overnight. That has happened because conservatives in California were too weak to stand up and do anything about what's been happening to their state. That is what has happened to conservatives for the last 30 years with not doing enough. Do you want to see your state turn into the next California? We're not no. taking away I, enough rights. I can tell rights. you you don't <laughs> from experience. I can't tell you how important it is that you guys stand up for your beliefs and stand up for what you believe in. If you don't, everything continues to get worse. The universities, I mean, Hollywood, the media. You so if you're in your you classroom want. and your teacher asks you a question that you want to act like a conservative on, or you want to say how you really believe, speak up. Say it. Yeah, I'm not if you're at your work and they ask you, you want, say fine. it. If you don't, it will continue to get worse and this country will be truly lost. What defines every American is not the color of their skin, but the values that they hold. And the left I mean, in their religion is, is trying to destroy this country and dismantle everything that we hold dear. Thank you guys so much for having All me. Alright, yeah, so that's this guy. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a dumb Prager video. U is a 501c3 organization. Help us. Stop. But yeah, that was this video. It was dumb. I thought it'd be a little different to cover since I've been mostly focusing on LGBT issues. I decided to go a little bit more political, see how I do with this kind of content since I am interested in this subject as well. If you like the video, give it a like. If you feel like you want to share it, give it a share. And uh, yeah, later.